Over the last four decades, routine childhood immunizations in the United States have eliminated many serious illnesses and put others at bay. For expectant parents, that's good news, especially for moms like Jessica March, who have their hands full juggling new responsibilities. But of all the tough decisions, from picking the perfect name to choosing the right daycare provider, one came easy for Jessica and her husband, Justin. And my pediatrician recommended at two months we start getting her vaccinated. Justin and I have never looked back, and we're very pleased with the happy, healthy nine-month-old we have today. For many moms, the choice isn't that straightforward. That's because, according to researcher Jason Glanz, as serious childhood illnesses like polio and pertussis have become rare, parents' concerns have shifted from preventing disease to the safety of the vaccines themselves. Now, a new study from Kaiser Permanente may help put more moms at ease. There are a lot of reasons why parents refuse vaccines. But two common perceptions among these parents are, one, they don't think their children are at risk for the disease, and two, they do not think the vaccine is effective. Our results show that their children are at risk for the disease and that the vaccine is effective. In fact, our study showed that children of parents who refuse the pertussis vaccination are 23 times more likely to be infected with pertussis or whooping cough than children who are fully vaccinated. Based on the new study, published in the June issue of the journal Pediatrics, Dr. Glanz and his colleagues report that one in 10 additional whooping cough infections could have been prevented by immunization. So how does that make new mom Jessica March feel about her decision? All parents just wanna do what's right for their kids. Talk to your pediatrician, get the information so that you can make the right decision for your kids. As the father of two young children, Dr. Glanz couldn't agree more. My message to parents is that, again, as a parent myself, I understand how difficult being a parent can be. And I understand there's a lot of information out there in the media and on the internet. But at the end of the day, your pediatrician is the true expert. Pediatricians are pediatricians because they care about the health of children. Your doctor wants to do what's best for your child. And so, again, I would encourage parents to talk with their doctor when making decisions about immunizing their children. For more information on the study, talk to your doctor or visit kp.org for an extended interview with the study author. From Kaiser Permanente, Colorado, I'm Tanya Ziegler.